Hey guys, uh, I had a busy weekend and then a busy Monday uh, with a lot of work coming in. And I, I don't think I have been the best tonight as coach. <laughs> so, but I'm still here. It's uh, Monday night, about midnight, a little after. And uh, I just got done with a bunch of stuff. And, ah, I can hear the tinnitus. <laughs> but I was so busy, I didn't have time for that, you know. I just had to keep on doing what I was doing. Um, so it seems like, uh, always as I read the comments, there's always someone who's going through one of those time periods where they're experiencing a lot of anxiety and I'm like, oh, I've got to stop and talk to them and help them because I know how it was for me. It was so rough when, you know, the, some people, their tonight has gotten a lot louder or, uh, they just started having it or they've been having it for a while and it's just not uh, getting any better and they're so anxious. You know, I I, I want to be here for you. <laughs> and uh, I, I want to also assure you that I've run into so many people who were in the same spot where it just seemed absolutely hopeless. And then you talk to them a little later and they got to the other side. <laughs> And I'm one of those people. I was there. I was I was in a, a hopeless time. Uh, the sound is just so unbearable. It's so loud. You know, I always slept with my head on the pillow like this. And I, now if I do it, it's like the sound is especially magnified. Uh, but somehow, it really doesn't matter how I sleep now. It's probably a little bit better if I sleep on my back with my ears open and there's, some, uh, there's an air purifier in the room. And, uh, but if there wasn't, I'm still fine, you know, but it was not like that before. I was totally help, hopeless and I didn't know what to do. And I felt like there was nowhere to turn. And you go online and you see people like on Reddit. I don't want to say only Reddit or the tinnitus, tinnitus forums where they're just like giving you the worst case scenario and how their life has been hell for the last, you know, 30 years. And I... I I totally feel for these people, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, but uh, uh, the huge, huge majority of people, we go through this hopeless period and then we get to the other side. And I, I do believe, someone told me this recently, I do believe that even for those people, a lot of it is just so much in here because we, we create this network of nerves, our brain, like I was saying before in a, in a previous video, like say learning how to play, play piano, like our brain can build this network of nerves that can allow you to play, you know, some amazing Beethoven piece. Uh, and you had, you, you had to think about it oh, for hours and hours and you finally got to the point where you could play this beautiful, beautiful Beethoven piece. But right now, some of you are spending hours and hours and hours learning how to have this terrible tinnitus sound and really getting your nerves focused in on that. So we're trying to find methods to build a network away from that sound. And then the sound will be depreciated. It'll be, it'll be not so important to your brain and your brain will prioritize other things like playing piano or drawing or learning a language, exercise, dancing, you know? So if you're in that bad place now, get up and I'll look up on YouTube how to do some dance, how to do the hokey pokey, whatever, how to do bo uh, the rumba or the salsa, and then stand in front of the computer and study that video and make yourself do the steps. And your brain will be forced to focus on that and you'll do your best to do the steps. And then you'll notice that your tinnitus a little bit wasn't like the same as it was because you, you, your, your brain and the nerves started focusing in on what you had to do with your body. So you see what I mean? And they could do it in a lot of different ways, but this is, you know, a, one of the focal points of what I try to, you know, uh, tell people to do in order to make the tinnitus sound not be so bad. And it doesn't necessarily happen because you did it today for 10 minutes. That you get better because 
you start putting these activities into your into your way of life and you start getting better at focusing on something else besides the sound and it's very hard at first i i totally understand because it was for me too but you want to try to just slowly get into different activities drawing for me i write chinese characters reading a book and just really focus in on reading that book each word and maybe you might be reading each word and studying it and then for after a while you're like what did i just read that's okay go back and read it again or keep reading but just you're getting your brain focused in on the reading and you're building your nerves this nerve network that you've focused in on the tinnitus is starting to be diverted a little bit so different activities like that should help you a lot i know some of you are having trouble sleeping and um i love magnesium i love the idea of vitamin d uh, that one takes a while but many people are low on vitamin d and that can really have a a lot of impact on your anxiety and your sleep. Um, we need a background noise. Um, find a noise that's similar to your sound and play that in the background. It's okay. It doesn't really matter exactly the volume. You, you don't want to play it super loud, but you want to get it where maybe you can hear your tinnitus a little bit, but not like it's a little bit better, you know, and see if you can deal with that. And then... Um, you know, if you're trying to go to sleep, think about like uh, boring things to think about. Like, let's say you had to write in cursive. Um, you had to write in cursive something that you know. Like, um, you had to write um, what's something everybody knows? Four score and seven years ago. And you have to either you think in your mind, four score right I, I can't even write a cursive that well and you you kind of think about how it would be to write that in cursive or maybe in print you know four right and but your brain is like thinking about how to do that you see what i mean and for you can get your brain away from the sound of the tinnitus and if you're trying to go to sleep something boring like that can you you, you can just imagine you don't have to use your finger but you can just imagine writing Four O U R S C O, you know, and you see how you write it, and you kind of get your brain on that. It could be anything, you know. It could be the lyrics to a song. Um, you could think about singing a song, even if you're not not actually, um, you know, singing it with your voice. But you, you know, um, you know, amazing grace, and you let the how sweet. And you let the let the words process in your brain. All these things are just getting your brain focused on something else. Because you can't just say, don't think about tonight. Don't think about it. That doesn't work. It just gets more and more frustrating, right? Because you really are thinking about it when you say that. So you think of some of these like activities that just divert you. And then um, you'll get better at it. And you'll get better at focusing in on something like that. People that are able to focus are, are, are amazing, right? And this tinnitus can help to train you <laughs> to be better at focusing. And uh, you might actually find it's a blessing for you, a blessing in disguise, you know, where you you had this great challenge that where you, sat, you, you felt hopeless. And then you developed these skills to focus on things. And then you did some of those things really, really well, you know? So there's hope, yeah? So, okay, I'm going to get ready to go to sleep. I hope you have a wonderful day or night or wherever you are, and I'll see you next time.